If you're interested in spirituality, it probably means that your soul has made a lot of progress. That you lived life after life, going through various desires, realizing that eventually all these desires are not going to fill us. All these worldly wants are not going to fill us. They're not bad. It's not evil to have desire. It's not evil to entertain desire. It's not evil to want things. It's not about good or evil. It's about ascension or remaining in this world. If you're interested in spiritual matters, spiritual topics, then it's likely that your soul has gotten tired of coming back here again and again and again, being stuck in samsara, being stuck in life after life after life, until you've reached a point where, it's, where your soul innately knows that this is not, this is not the end all be all. This material world is not bad. It's an extension of the Divine Mother. It's an extension of God. There's nothing evil and innate in this world. Just quote unquote evil things might happen, but that is that is due to human action, huge, huge, human agency and human choice. But there's nothing innately evil about this world. There's nothing innately evil about even wanting to, if you want to be here, that's fine. If you want to remain here, that's fine. If the world entertains you, that's fine. There's nothing evil about that. It's not about good or evil. But if you're interested in spiritual topics, it probably means that you're, you feel like, you feel like it isn't quite what your soul wants it wants anymore. Um, when the average wants, or the wants that you had when you were younger, um, just don't click with you anymore. If this, this is a great sign, this is a sign of awakening, this is a sign that you're ready to move on, to ascend, to go to a high, higher level. And remember all of creation, all the various um, universes that are material, these are all like schools that we're going through. We're going through all, we're entertaining all these desires, we're trying this or that, failing a whole lot, learning from those failures, succeeding, learning from those successes. And we're, we're understanding and learning more and more and more. Don't feel like you have to become enlightened, that you have to reach moksha, that you have to reach the best version of yourself in this life. A lot of the time we kind of hamstring our efforts by doing so. We often undermine our, ourself and our efforts by doing so. Don't feel like you have to be the greatest at anything. Don't feel like you have to be noticed by other people. Just try to be you, try to be content. Feel, if you're interested in spiritual matters, it, feel your soul. What is it calling you to do? What is it calling you to study? Which kinds of spirituality are you interested in? Find various topics, research them, read books. Read book after book about a God that you're interested in, about a spiritual path that you're interested in, about meditation, about puja, about chakras, about, about Reiki, about shamanism, whatever it is, find books, research, read, 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 and practice, practice, practice. You're not going to find what you really click with as a person deep down unless you keep on researching and keep on practicing. And there's going to be a whole lot of failure, and that's okay. You might not really understand how to, at first, how to feel like you're moving forward on a spiritual path, or if you're making progress, or it's getting worse. But that's okay, just keep going, keep walking. Sometimes we're walking in the dark, and we just have to keep going in order to find the light, and then we find a way out of the darkness. Don't fall into lethargy, don't fall into laziness, don't fall into the traps of this world of just trying to get a better job, or just trying to be promoted, or just, just thinking about um, work or, or society or politics or even school all the time. Don't just, don't just have that going through, the, the, through your mind, through these mental cycles, through the, the merry-go-round that is the mind. Don't just have those things that are of this world and worldly topics in the merry-go-round of your mind. Introduce more and more spiritual ideas. That's what research, that's what, that's what study is for. It gets spiritual ideas into that carousel to where, you know, maybe it's not all spiritual, it's not going to be all spiritual, but you have, you have spiritual thoughts that come around in the mind. And then once you hit that, it's almost like your soul feels a little brighter, feels a little ping, like you're more in touch with who you are deep down, whoever that is. That's why it's thinking more spiritual thoughts is what we have to do before, you know, our mind is mostly spiritual. I wouldn't even say my mind's mostly spiritual. And the vast majority of people who are spiritual uh, mind isn't just thinking about spiritual topics. That's okay. You can engage in this world. A lot of us have to in order to live a balanced life or to make ends meet. 
but introduce more spirituality into your mind, into your practice, into your space. It's good to have images of various gods, various spiritual people, various spiritual landscapes even around you that remind you of your, of your journey, of your search. Sometimes it's just pieces of art that are very inspiring. Uh, nature art, for instance, that make you think about the deeper nature of who you are and our purpose here to remind you again and again and again. Spiritual practices are vital as well. But if you're watching this, you might be early on the spiritual path. You're probably not highly advanced. So it's good to introduce these, these spiritual thoughts in your merry-go-round. Think of it that way. And get more and more in there until your soul's hitting more and more pings as, as, as these thoughts are going by. It's a wonderful feeling once you start to transmute your mind and your practice and your environment into a safe space and a space of growth for your soul, for your mind's connection to your soul, for consciousness that pierces both. Consciousness and soul are so interlinked and the mind is not us. You might have chaotic thoughts, you might have confused thoughts, you might have strange thoughts, you might have terrible thoughts or, or mean thoughts or angry thoughts. Do not think that you are the mind. You're not the mind. You're so much more than that. You just have to introduce more to your carousel and you just have to be able to allow the bad thoughts to pass and meditation helps with this a lot. You know, just 10 minutes a day helps a whole lot. To allow the thoughts to pass without attaching yourself to them, without berating yourself because of them, just watching them go by, having no emotional reaction to them, and eventually those negative thoughts become dimmer and dimmer as they go around the carousel in your mind until they just are no longer there and they fade away. But just try not to have a reaction to where you take up these negative thoughts and you entertain them or you punish yourself because of them, or you punish yourself because of your past, or punish yourself because of what you want. Don't punish yourself. Just allow those thoughts, those desires, those wants, those memories to pass. Have no aversion or craving for them. And over time, they will fade. If you're interested in spiritual matters, keep going. Whatever you do, keep going, keep researching, keep trying things. Whatever kind of spirituality you're into, whatever kind of religion that you're into, if you're into a religion, whatever kind of path you're into, just keep going and just keep learning. That's what we're here to do. Just keep learning in this school of life. And it is a school. We don't have to be the best versions of ourselves this time. We don't have to be great. We just have to learn how to be us more and more and more. I hope that this has helped a little bit. I hope this was interesting. And I hope this inspired you at least in some small way. Please like this video, it helps out the channel. Feel free to share this wherever you like, and I try to get to all comments. Thank you very much, and I'll have a wonderful day.